Hi there, my name's Vince from MyMateVince.com and in this video today I'm going to show you how you can connect up your Nintendo 2DS to the internet. Now it's nice and straightforward to do. The first thing we have to have is obviously you have to have an internet connection. So in your house you're going to have to find out where your router is. In the UK we call these routers but in the rest of the world you will know it as a router. Basically it's the thing that your service provider gives you so you've got access to the internet. Now if you've got a more modern router then it's really straightforward because all we have to do is tap that WPS button. WPS stands for Wi-Fi Protected Setup. So on that router, it's actually written down as WPS, but on this one here, it's just a symbol. It's this one here. So the first part of the video, I'm gonna show you how to set it up using WPS, because it's just so easy. And then after that, I'm gonna show you how to set it up using the password or the PIN number of your router. So first of all, let's do the easy way. So first of all, on the bottom screen, we just have to tap this icon in the top left-hand corner. And then we're going to scroll down and we're going to turn wireless communication on. Then go down to the very bottom and where you see this icon here, that looks like a spanner or a wrench, just tap that. And now we want to go here where it says internet settings. Then go to connection settings. And at the moment you can see that I've got no connection, so this is not connected to the internet. And we're just going to go to new connection. Now it's asking do I want a tutorial, well I don't, I'm just going to go to manual setup and I'm just going to go to this one here, WPS setup, so the Wi-Fi protected setup and I'm going to go to push button connection because that's what these routers are, you just have to tap a button or tap a button there, so tap that one there and it's going to just say that it can take up to two minutes to do this, so this is not connected this one but if it was you would now just tap that one there and it would just sync up with this here but in this instance I'm going to be using this one here so I'm just going to tap this button here and you can see it's flashing there and now if you keep watching here it's going to just automatically pass the details onto here so we don't have to type anything in and it's as easy as that you see how quick that was so just press OK and now it's just going to run a test there we go so we are now connected to the internet so it's a really straightforward, easy way to do it. So now you can download your games or you can play online against your friends. Now, if your router doesn't have that WPS button, this is where we need to know our PIN number or the password of the router. Now it can be called a different thing. It can be called a wireless key, it can be called a PIN, it can be called a password, it can be called a passphrase. But basically every single router will have its own SSID. That is just the name of the router. And then the wireless key is what's gonna give you access to that router because when you search for nearby wireless networks, it's going to bring up your neighbor's routers as well. Now obviously we can't connect to them because we don't know their wireless key, so you want to make sure you're connecting to your own one. So what we need to do is, if we were using this one here, we need to look for this wireless SSID and then we need to tap on that and then we need to enter this wireless key. But in this video I'm going to be using this one down here. Now don't normally give out your pin numbers and stuff, this is purely for the video, these routers are not live in real life. Right, so in this one here, I'm gonna be connecting up to the TP-Link 71EO, and this is gonna be the pin number I'm typing in, the 9001717. Obviously, you're gonna be doing the one from your own router and not the one from mine here. Right, okay, so just go back. Right, now, same setup again, we get to this screen here. So you've got to go through the same process that we did at the beginning of the video. Go to connection settings. This time I'm going to go to new connection. I'm going to save this as number two. Right, go to manual setup again. But this time we're going to search for access points. So pretend now we haven't got that WPS button on here. So we're going to search for an access point. Now this is where it will bring up the other routers in your neighborhood. Right, so as you can see, I've got a few here that I can connect to, but obviously I need to connect to my one, which is this top one here, TP-Link 71EO, because it says so here, TP-Link 71EO. So I'm gonna tap on that, and now I'm gonna to have to enter the security key, which is this one here. So, 900, Seven. Okay. And now it's going to be saved as number two. Obviously, if you're doing this, it will be saved as number one if you haven't done anything before. And now it's just going to test that connection.
There we go, connection test successful. So now we will be online when we need to be online. So let's just go back and just quickly go to YouTube. Obviously make sure you put your router back up again so it doesn't overheat. And there we go, you can see now that we are connected to the internet. So I hope you found the video useful. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and please subscribe for more how-to videos. Take care, bye now.